Hello everyone, my name is Allison, Princess of the Desert, and welcome back to another episode of Will It Survive in Equestrian? This is the series where I take a makeup product and put it to the ultimate long wearing test. I wear it all day while I go to my riding lesson and we see how well it holds up through heat, sweat, humidity, wind, rain, all the possible harsh elements you can think of, and we see how well it still looks at the end of the day. And today we're going to be testing out a liquid lipstick, which is probably my favorite thing to test out. So as always, out of the literally billion other YouTube creators out there, thank you so much for choosing to watch me test out a liquid lipstick today. Be sure and give this video a like and subscribe, click the notification bell to see more of me in the future. You can also check out my second channel, Allison Adventure, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Candoring Gorgeous. But for now, let's get on with the video. I have here the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. This is a little mini size. As you probably know, Too Faced packaging is just a Adorable. So Too Faced has the melted liquid lipsticks that come in a squeezy tube with like a sponge applicator and this is their matte like long wearing liquid lipstick version of those. So Too Faced claims that these glide on like a gloss but dry ultra matte. Um, they have Volulip for plumping and smoothing and avocado and vitamin E with hyaluronic smoothing spheres. So there's a lot of good ingredients and like like plumping and smoothing agents in these liquid lipsticks. They are also formulated without any parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. I don't know how you say that. None of the bad stuff is in there. These liquid lipsticks come in, at least on the Sephora's website anyway, they came in 16 different shades. I don't know if there are more. That was just what was on Sephora's site. I'm not really sure. The really cool thing about these though is they come in some really, really cool shades. Of course, they have some really, really pretty nudes. They have pinks. There's green, sapphire, a chocolate color, a black, um, like really, really orange, orange. Everything, there's something for everything. Some really, really cool colors in this line. A full size of these is going to cost $21. Okay, so the shade I have is the shade Lady Balls. So you open it up and it just has a very basic doe foot applicator. It's more of a liquidy lip, liquid lipstick. It's not moussey or thick. So I think we're just gonna get on in and get started. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Try and bring you in a little closer. This is just, it is so red, it's so beautiful. And it feels really comfortable too. Okay, so here is one um, coat of the liquid lipstick applied. I think the color is really, really beautiful. Um, this is described as a true red, and I do think that is true. On camera it's looking more orange, but it is very true red. In person I just see like a brown base through it. I don't see blue or I don't see orange, it's more just straight red. And I did end up over lining my top lip a, a little bit. Um, I haven't applied a liquid lipstick in a long time, and so it's just like trying to get it looking all smooth. I and mean, even, I think I did a pretty good job. It's a thin formula, obviously very opaque, but like the nice oils and stuff in there, it just glides on very smooth. Unfortunately though, it is tightening up a little bit around my lips, but application feels nice. So I guess that's a good thing. Okay, guess so I'm gonna give this a minute or two to dry down even farther and I will be right back. Okay, so it has been a couple minutes. I let the liquid lipstick dry down. So far, so good. It is very dry. There is no stick to it. Um, there's also no smell either, which I, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of enjoying. I kind of like when makeup just doesn't have a smell. It doesn't smell like makeup and it doesn't smell like fruit or candy. It, it, because you just, it follows you around all day and it just is distracting and just not always that pleasant. So these liquid lipsticks do not have any smell at all. Let's test. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Can you kind of see right here? So this is not 100% transfer proof. It's not gonna smudge off. It's not completely matte. They are pretty comfortable. You know, I can move my lips and I still have a little bit of movement. It is still fairly dry. This did dry fairly quickly. It wasn't like some liquid lipsticks, they take so long to dry that you're just walking around waiting for the top and the bottom layer to dry so it doesn't stick to itself. So in the way of liquid lipsticks, these are very, very easy to use. 
So far, I'm really happy. We just know, if you've been watching these videos for a while, you know red is my absolute favorite color. I love to wear red lipstick, and lots and lots of people wear red in the show ring, so it's always a good color to test. Um, I have a bit of time, but I should be going. Um, today is December 21st, so it is like, it is the darkest possible day. I picked the darkest possible day to film a YouTube video. So I am gonna try and get back before the sun sets, like 4.30. I am fairly certain though Santa is gonna bring me some studio lights, so then I can film, you know, whenever and wherever I want. So I don't have a whole lot to do today. Since we are so close to Christmas, um, we probably are gonna be like doing Christmas. Um, I have the presents for my trainer. If you have not watched my gift ideas for trainers and riding instructors. I will leave it linked for you down below. Just normal riding practice. Hopefully it'll be pretty short and I'll be able to get home and not be in the holiday crowd a whole lot. Okay, so I think that is everything and I will see you. Oh, wait a minute, we need to know the time. So it is currently about 8.46 in the morning. I'm gonna be going and I will see you at the next update. Hello everyone. So I am here, I'm a tiny bit early, so I'm just trying to waste some time. I am like, like 13 minutes early. It's okay, I always think it's better to be a tiny bit early than like super late. So I'm just wasting some time going down the driveway. Um, nothing has happened yet. Nothing has happened to the lipstick. So I guess we wait. The freeway, the highway, they have one of those signs that goes like over the road to tell you about traffic conditions and stuff. So today it said speeding? Question mark? Um, you'll be sorry. Kind of like Yule, Yule Tide, like kind of like that. So I thought that was pretty funny considering it is December 21st. Every holiday they always ha come up with some funny little phrase to like warn you and like to be cautious about driving. And I think that's, that's really good. It's always entertaining. It made me laugh. That is all this th that has happened here. Whoa. And I just got to the dirt part of the road. <laughs> okay, so I will see you later.
Okay, so I am back is about 148 right now. Um, the lipstick still looks really good, um, although it is starting to bleed a tiny bit. Um, I did eat my lunch. I had like a chicken enchilada, but it was kind of like a little bit kind of greasy, but I did eat it with a spoon. Almost two o'clock now. Lipstick still looks passable. It's not perfect, but it still looks pretty good. So I have one errand to run and then I probably will be back for the last update. It is now just a little past four o'clock in the afternoon. So I am back, it is the end of the day. The liquid lipstick has been on for seven hours. And I'll bring you a close up of what it looks like. You can see it's kind of, you know, just all around the whole entire lip line. It is bleeding a little bit. It's just kind of melted and bleeding a little bit. It stayed really nice, like in my, uh, on my actual lips. You can see like the inside of my mouth, it did rub off. That's very, very, very normal though for any type of lipstick. I just think it's a little bit strange that around my whole entire lip line, basically, it's, it's bleeding. I mean, it's not awful at a distance. It, it looks passable, it looks okay, but, but up close you can just tell that it's really not the best. I don't know. It's just, it's a little too sloppy for me, for my particular taste. So I had a smoothie right when I got there. Um, I said I had some chicken enchilada for lunch. Uh, I've been drinking water and having snacks kind of all afternoon. You can see that it transferred a bit on the water bottle. So I mean, for all that it's been through, it has done pretty well. Our skin just gives off very natural oil sometimes, even if it's not a lot. Possibly that could have melted the lip line too. It stayed really nice and pigmented, but I'm kind of concerned if I was to like bite into a sandwich or something, you know how it will transfer like right on your chin. I'm really kind of worried that that probably would happen. So the main question here is, did it survive an equestrian? I'm going to have to say no. I don't really think it quite survived an equestrian. I mean, it's been seven hours. I've had lunch, had lots of snacks. I was drinking and it still didn't quite exactly hold up. It could be that this is a bright, bright red lipstick. I'm sure if you had like a more nude, it would not be as noted. The lip line would not be as noticeable, but since it's so red, red lip colors are absolutely beautiful, but they're very high maintenance. And so that's why I'm going to say that this did not survive an equestrian just because if I was gonna wear this in a show, it would have to last all day and I would not want it to look this messy. The Maybelline Matte Ink in Pioneer. I think that was probably the best red that I've ever used. Nothing can quite match that one. But either way, this was fun. It was a fun day. Everything just went smoothly. So it was a fun day. I did not have a ton of errands. Oh well, just enjoy the holiday season. And one thing potentially is if I were to use a lip liner with this, um, I'm sure that would probably help out a little bit with the bleeding. This is a very, very, very comfortable liquid lipstick. I can't feel anything on my lips for as nicely pigmented as it is. It's just comfort. All that, all those nice oils in there. The avocado and the vitamin E is just really, really weightless. It doesn't bother you. It's not caking up or sucked all the moisture out of your lips. I don't know. What are you going to do? Like have really, really long wearing power or have a liquid lipstick that has some more oils in it. That's very comfortable, but you can't trust the lip line. I, I, I don't know. Either way, it was a good day, had a good time, had a good lesson. And so I think that is going to be it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.